QuickBooks Online for real estate agents, how to record a sale. We uh, just recently talked about it from the broker's perspective. Now it's time to talk about it from the real estate agent's perspective. A couple things to consider. As the real estate agent, you work for the broker. And let's face it, as much as you may love the broker or brokerage you're currently working for, there may, be, there may come a time when you recognize that it is time to move on to another brokerage or broker. So with that in mind, I want to show you how I'd have you set this up. Let's go to the customer database. And what we're going to do is what you're seeing here on screen is how we did it from the perspective of the broker, right? The broker puts in the client, puts in the listing underneath that. As the agent, you're going to put the broker as the customer and you're going to put the listing inside the broker because that's essentially who you derive the, the, um, the commission from. You could go a couple levels deep here and say, okay, uh, we'll do broker, then uh, customer, and then listing. Or maybe just broker and then listing. At that point, you may not care who the customer is, right? Or maybe you do. Either way, let's take a look at this and set this up. So we will create a new customer, and it's going to be the brokerage, right? A XYZ brokerage. Okay, set that up. Now let's go back to the customer list. We want to create another customer. And let's just go the full distance. Let's say you want to do broker, customer, listing. Okay. So another new customer. I don't know why I keep going to the plus sign. That's for a new transaction. So Joe Smith, sub-customer of XYZ Brokerage, save, back to customers. One more level and new customer. I've never tried to go three levels deep in the customer database in QuickBooks Online, so we're about to find out if we can even do this. So now we're going to do the listing, right? So one, two, three, or two, one, three, Main Street, sub customer Joe Smith. Save it. Customers. Looks like we got a winner. Now, when you record the sale, it's the same process. We're going to do a sales receipt. And it's going to be for 213 Main Street. The trick is going to be figuring out how you want to lay this out. Because in the broker's case, for the quantity, let's do the uh, real estate sales. So real estate sales. And here you can put in all the information about the listing, whatever. Or here's what I'm thinking. Home sold for, let's say, a million five hundred right now the quantity your commission is based on a percentage of the brokers commission what they got right let's do the math real quick here bring up an Excel sheet so sales selling price million five Broker commission, let's say that's 0.05, 5%. And let's say agent commission is 80% of that. All right, so the agent's getting 60,000. So here's how we're going to do this. The quantity for the broker was a million and a half, and we put in the rate of 5, 5%. For the agent, the quantity is going to be 75000 because that's the total commission on which your commission is based. And then we do it for 80% of the 75000 So we go into here. The quantity is 75000 and the commission is, the, or the rate, is 80% of that. So that's how you get your 60000 And home sold for uh, $1,500,000, broker, commission. So I would just put the details in here equals 5% equals 75,000 then you have your 70 so that's how you'd record the sale from the agent's perspective and that my friends is uh, is what I have for you as always if you have if you have any questions or comments post them below wherever you happen to be watching this if it's on YouTube check the description for a link over to 
the blog post, the post on the site at sethdavid.com where you can post comments and questions there. Or just post them in the YouTube description. Either way, I'll get notified and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with an answer. And if it warrants, if I think it'll be helpful, I might even do a video answer to answer your question. As always, I hope you had some fun and learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.